Hey everyone, Mike here and in this clip I'm going to show you a few home screen customization tips for the Samsung Galaxy S5. First of all, you have a couple of different home screens over here. Right now I have four of them, but you can create more. Uh, one option to do that is just click on an icon and drag towards the right and you can see that another home screen was added. And now I have five home screens. If I want to delete this, just go ahead and take the icon apart and the home screen is now available over here, but if you just pinch the screen like this, you'll be able to, rem to scroll between the available home screens and remove the ones that you want. For instance, you want to remove this one, just press and drag it up and it's been removed. You can also add another one from here, from this plus, or just go ahead and remove it like this. You can also remove home screens that have content on it, but it says that the, pan the page and its content will be removed. So all the icons on this and the shortcuts on this, uh, on this home screen will be removed. Okay, uh, from here you can also access the wallpapers and the widgets and the home screen settings. Let's have a look at the home screen settings. You have a transition effect and you can choose between a couple of different ones. And you have the My Magazine. My Magazine is actually the most left home screen. So if you're going to swipe all the way to the left, you're going to access My Magazine. And uh, this allows you to curate various news sources and uh, social, social media signals uh, in a nicely, uh, nicely arranged way of actually reading that content but more about it in a different clip. For now, let's get back to, to the home screen and uh, have a look at the widgets and wallpapers. Wallpapers, let me change the wallpaper, wallpaper for the home screen and you have a couple of uh, default wallpapers for the Samsung Galaxy S5. They look fairly nice. A couple of them are really colorful, like this one. And um, if, you, if you found the one that you want, you just have to press set wallpaper and it's been selected as a wallpaper. And from here you can also add widgets from those already available and you can download others of course if you want to. Just press on the widget, navigate to the home screen that you want to, to put it on and just add it in there and there it goes. If you want to remove an, a widget or an icon, you just have to press on it and drag it up to the recycle bin on the on top and the same will happen uh, if you want to remove an icon like this okay there are a couple of other things i should show you first of all how you can add an app on the home screen from the app drawer just have to go to the apps and uh, select one of the apps for instance paypal keep uh, press it keep it pressed and just drag it to the home screen that you want it to be placed uh, if you want to remove it again press and drag it to the recycle bin here on top. You can also create folders in a new way. You have to uh, tap on an icon and drag it here to the create folder option. And from here you can create a new folder like this. And of course you can add new apps in this folder. For instance, these two, done. And all these apps are now available in this newly created folder. You can change the background color. And if you want to, you can actually remove it quite easy. Just press on the folder and dr drag it to the remove icon here on top. Uh, besides this, I should also show you that you can easily swipe between the home screens by pressing this uh, whole, this small home and dots uh, indicator here at the bottom, just like on the previous uh, Galaxy S4. And you can select a different home screen if you want to. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a home icon here on top. And if you're going to tap it, you're going to change the default home screen. And of course, the default home screen is also uh, surrounded by this uh, rectangular, more emphasized uh, border. Okay, uh, those sort of uh, the different those are the things that I wanted to show you in here. Uh, if you want to, to customize this uh, even further, you can go ahead and try a few launchers and uh, you're going to find those uh, in the app store for instance nova is a very interesting one one of my favorite is very fast and allows a bunch of uh, a bunch of customizations um, but there are also a couple of others like apex and uh, 
some others. I'll tell you, I'll tell you more about uh, these uh, launchers in a different clip. Okay, for now, that's about it. More details about the Samsung Galaxy S5 are available on the channel, and we have a bunch of other clips showing you um, some of its particularities and some of its different aspects over there. So go ahead and check them out. I'll catch you later, and thanks for watching.